Fine. Kick up. This is it. Oh! That's not good. Let's head off number four there. Acceleration's good. The Igo was also agile. Steering on this car is light. It's easy to manoeuvre in a supermarket car park football situation. But more than that, the Igo allowed James to do the first sporting thing in his life. Headed on through. Yes, I've scored a goal in football! Oh, I've scored a goal! I want to kick off, so here it comes. Yes, yes, we're finally getting a fair end. Oops. Oh, that's a big one. Brakes are pretty good. Then the Reds made a break for the blue goal, but Hammond used the Igo's low weight to make a brilliant interception. That breaks good. Next, May in red one was going for a second goal when... Oh no, I can't even the man! I screwed that up! Half time. But the clutch is pleased. And the cars changed ends. Here we go, second half. It's our chance for an equaliser. My kick off. I've done it in and we're off to the goal. Oh no, we've lost possession. Oh no, they're steaming straight for it. <laughs> that was the equaliser for Blue. I'll kick off again and I'm passing it to Russ Swift. Oh, he's punting it straight over their line. Oh, and he's going, he's taking it down the wing. They've cleared it. They're away. By now, we've found out that the Igo has all the makings of a great little city car. And that was good, as with just a few minutes to go and the scores at one all, the match got dirty. <laughs> Door ball, that's not allowed. One of the things I will say about this car... ...does withstand quite severe not very well. No, man's reversed into me. This is hot stopping stuff. And then, just before the final whistle, with James oh! defending the goal. Dan, I've stalled. Oh. Um... Yes! I can't stand it. Magnificent!